so this is my sleeping setup in sayadris so let's start from the ground in the earlier days i used to use this foam mat so you get this for pretty cheap so this works perfectly in any condition and it is completely indestructible this specific mat has a aluminum type of coating down here so it protects the foam from getting punctured this piece it's like 6 7 years old so i have been using this for so many years so nowadays i use it for gym at home but uh, i have upgraded myself to this air mattress which is like 10 times more comfortable but i would say uh, bit fragile if not used properly so if we compare both of them this air mattress is this much bigger and compared to the regular foam mattress it packs just 2 liters and it is like half a kg in weight that is the advantage of using a air mattress which is ultra compact this is specifically designed for trekking anywhere in sayadris there are two openings one for inlet and outlet and the inlet one has auto stop feature so the air won't get out even if you stop filling the air inside let me show you how it is felt so you have to remove the in nozzle you just have to fill in the air by mouth or they also provide a pump but for this it is really not necessary This is how it looks when inflated, and it is pretty much easy to deflate. You just have to open the out valve. There is a specific way in which you need to fold it, but it is pretty easy. So apart from that, there are these anti-slip silicone uh, stickers which avoids the slipping of your sleeping bag. So let me show you my sleeping bag. so combining this mattress with my ultra light sleeping bag which is suitable for 10 to 15 degrees this is the perfect setup for sayadris i would say personally so i have been using this model of the uh, decathlon sleeping bag for last like 5 years and i recently upgraded to the newer version but the temperature rating and all the things are pretty much the same the volume is just 4 liters and uh, weight is like somewhere 680 grams so it's as good as nothing this bag has compression straps once you pack it inside you can just compress them and make it more compact even the sleeping bag is l size which is fine for me but if someone is like 6 foot tall then you will need the xl one So this is pretty much my setup. This bag can open up till here from both the sides, and you can easily go inside. And the chain are two-way. You can open the chain from your knee side for some extra ventilation. Tighten the elastic part which is inside, and only this much portion uh, remains open. So that's it for the review and there is one advice which I will like to give with this bag uh if you sleep with this sleeping bag directly on the ground you will feel the cold after maybe 2 or 3 hours so make sure you put a mattress or some uh, bed sheet below it so that way it works perfectly itun kharach utha asa nahi vatate ha mi jopto aaj mi ithe jopto e mi pan काम पे फोन की बैठ घे अपन दोगा इतना